Now that you've solved the white layer, our goal is to solve the middle layer. Here we focus on the edge pieces. Remember, those are the pieces located in the middle and they have two colors. So that we don't mess up our completed white layer, we need to hold our cube with the completed white layer on the bottom. So turn the cube over so that the white layer is on the bottom. This is actually a fun part because when we're finished with this stage, we're two thirds of the way done. So let's get started. One of the tips in the solution guide says that if you look on the side of your cube, you'll notice the vertical row of a color that looks like an upside down T as illustrated in the solution guide. Now remember, don't worry about the gray colored cubes in the solution guide because the gray tells you they don't matter on your cube. The vertical row is critical because it's how we get the edge pieces in their correct position to solve the middle layer of the cube. The way to create a vertical row is by rotating the top U-face until the front color of the edge piece on the top U-face without yellow on it matches a side center piece. The color on that edge piece's top U-face helps determine the direction the edge piece needs to move in to its correct position. So let's give it a try. But remember, do not rotate the cube in your hand. You're only moving the faces of the cube. This is important so you don't mess up. If you notice, this edge piece's top U-face color has to move to the right because it matches the center piece color on the right side. Now, according to the solution guide, if you're moving the edge piece in the same direction indicated by the arrow in the picture, which is pointing to the right, then we need to follow the sequential moves of U, R, U, I, R, I, U, I, F, I, U, F. And there it is. The edge piece is now in the middle layer and matches the center pieces on each side. So we know it's correct. We did it. Now, if you have an edge piece that's already in the middle layer, but in the wrong position, then do either one of the sequence of moves from the solution guide based on where that edge piece is located. This will move that edge piece to the top U-face layer. For example, to move the edge piece out of the left side, we do the move sequence UI, LI, U, L, U, F, UI, FI. Now, we simply rotate the top U face until that edge piece creates the vertical line and then determine if the edge piece needs to move to the left or right position. If you're moving the edge piece to the left as indicated by the arrow, then do the correct sequence of moves from the solution guide. UI, LI, U, L, U, F, U, I, F, I, and there it is. So how did that work out for you, Jason? I got it, it works. It worked for me too, it's pretty cool. Great job, congratulations you guys. And congratulations to you also. If your bottom two layers look like this, you can move to stage five. We only have one more layer to go. And if you don't have the two layers, that's okay. Just make sure you go through your steps slowly and completely. If you messed up the entire cube, then don't worry and don't get frustrated. Just go back to stage one, two, or three and start the process from there. Like we said in the beginning, if you make a mistake, you'll learn from it and then be able to move on. Whether it's misunderstanding something, you're not holding your cube right, or turning one of the faces in the wrong direction, you'll learn from it, and that's a good thing.